In this groundbreaking video that will immerse you in the captivating world of Ordinal's BRC20 token on the revolutionary Bitcoin network as we gaze into the crystal ball and explore the futures of Ordinal's. What lies ahead of this captivating realm of digital ownership? Join us as we speculate on the emerging trends, potential challenges and groundbreaking advancements that will shape the destiny of Ordinal's and the integration in the Bitcoin network. Have you ever wondered how Ordinal's work? The Bitcoin network is witnessing a paradigm shift as Ordinals, an advanced breed of non-fungible tokens, NFTs, rapidly gain traction within the cryptosphere. April 2023 saw the daily Ordinals inscription record smashed several times, illustrating the escalating curiosity surrounding these digital assets, while Ordinals may create new opportunities for the Bitcoin network, but skeptics raise concern about the potential negative consequences. Ordinals, a class of digital assets closely related to non-fungible tokens, NFTs, are inscribed on Satoshis, the smallest denomination of Bitcoin. In April, Ordinals experienced a surge in popularity according to a significant portion of the network fees. In May 2023, the cumulative fees paid for Ordinals over the time have reached an astonishing 300 million with a majority of the expenditure occurring between April and May. Ordinals gained prominence after the Taproot upgrade, which facilitated improved transaction management, privacy and reduced transaction costs. But how do Ordinals work? To truly understand Ordinals, we need to talk about Satoshis, named after Bitcoin's founder Satoshi Nakamoto. As Satoshi is the smallest fraction of a Bitcoin, one hundred millionth of a Bitcoin to be precise. What is interesting about Satoshis is that each carries a unique number determined by the order in which it was mined. The unique number or ordinal is what gives each Satoshi its identity. Think of Satoshis as a tiny digital canvas, each with a unique identifying number. Now when you inscribe these Satoshis with data, text, images, audio or more, they transform into a unique digital asset, which can be used in numerous applications, from games to artwork. Inscription is a process of storing information on the blockchain, reflecting ownership of a digital object when a transaction is confirmed by Bitcoin miners and added onto the blockchain. It's as good as etched in stone. It becomes immutable proof of ownership. When you inscribe data on the Bitcoin blockchain, it gets associated with a particular Satoshi, much like marking a personal item with your name. This marked Satoshi then allows the transfer and assignment of ownership of that on-chain data or inscription. So in a nutshell, ordinals are like digital stamps, unique and secured on the Bitcoin blockchain. Using an open, permissionless protocol, you can use ordinals to create your own digital assets, owning, selling and transferring them as you wish. NFTs versus Bitcoin ordinals the primary distinction between conventional NFTs and Bitcoin ordinals stem from the foundational infrastructure. Traditional NFTs often built on Ethereum or alternative blockchains operate on separate layers from their base network and frequently employ smart contracts to enable creation and transfer. Both NFTs and ordinals function as a distinctive digital asset with prevail scarcity. However, what sets ordinals apart is the direct integration with the Bitcoin network, which means they share Bitcoin security and immutability. And with that being said, there's a flip side on this coin. The integration of ordinals with Bitcoin might lead to network clogging and a spike in transaction costs. This has ignited a debate over the long-term feasibility and impact of ordinals. Advocates argue that ordinals add value by creating new use cases for the network. Conversely, critics contend that ordinals consume precious block space and inflate the network fees, contradicting Bitcoin's fundamental principles, the growth of ordinals and its implication. The Ordinals ecosystem has experienced exponential growth since its inception, with over 5 million inscriptions recorded as of May. This surge is primarily attributed with the widespread adoption of the Taproot soft fork, which has reached new all-time highs in adoption and utilization. 
Consequently, average block size and network fees have increased lately, highlighted by the potential challenges posed by the ongoing popularity of ordinals. The future of ordinals, as ordinals continue to gain popularity in the use case of applications, are likely to extend beyond digital art and collectibles. Industries such as gaming, real estate and intellectual property could benefit from the properties of ordinals, opening up new possibilities for the Bitcoin ecosystem. Ongoing development in the Bitcoin space, including Lightning Network upgrades and potential protocol enhancement could elevate some concerns surrounding network congestion and scalability. This in turn could pave the way for broader adoption and acceptance of ordinals in the future. So now you know everything you need to know about BRC20 and ordinals. So if you like this content, make sure to smash up the like button and subscribe. And if you want me to cover any crypto basics, leave a comment in the video description below and make sure to be for crypto. And if you want to know how to take profit, watch this video exactly now.